continuing into chapter three with parallel and perpendicular lines. Today we are going to talk about just a quick review of how do we graph lines in slope intercept form and in standard form. All right, so let's start with a quick review of slope intercept form. Remember y equals mx plus b, and we know that the m is the slope, and remember the slope is referred to as rise over run. B is the y-intercept. It is the ordered pair 0 comma b, and it will be located on the y-axis. When we graph using this, remember that all we are going to do is the first thing is we need to plot the y-intercept, and then step two, find two additional points using the slope. Okay, so let's just practice picking that off. So if I started here, the first thing I'm going to ask is what is the slope and what is the y-intercept? The slope here would be 5, and what we should be thinking of is 5 over 1. The y-intercept is the b, and that should be the negative 9. All right, so let's try to graph this then. So we're going to start in, we're going to start here, and we're going to say, okay, what is the slope, and what is the y-intercept? So here, the slope would be 3 halves. The y-intercept is 2. So when we come over here to graph, we plot the y-intercept first. That would be there. And then remember, this is rise over run. So that means we're going to rise 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. And we repeat 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. And then at that point, we connect our points. And there is our line. That's how we graph in slope-intercept form. Let's try another one here. So here we have a slope of negative 4. And what we're thinking is negative 4 over 1. Our b or our y-intercept is a negative 8. So that means we're going to start down here at negative 8. Since we're going negative, what we can do, we have two options. We could move. A negative slope, remember, can move up and left or down and right. So those are our possibilities with a negative slope. So I'm going to move up four, one, two, three, four, left one. And then I'm going to repeat one, two, three, four, left one. At that now, I'm going to connect my points. And there is the line. Okay. I did not go down and right because that would have sent me off the graph. Okay. Now, slope intercept form, remember the M is the slope, the B is the Y intercept. When we go to standard form, remember standard form is AX plus BY equals C, where A, B, and C are all whole numbers or integers. Okay, no fractions. And then when we graph this, the easiest thing to do with standard form is to convert it back to slope intercept. So we're going to do a little solving here. So when I look at this problem, I have negative 3x plus 2y equals 14. So now what I simply do is I'm going to add the 3x across. And that would get me 2y equals 3x plus 14. At that now, we divide everything by 2. So we end up with y equals 3 halves x plus 7. Then at that point, we would be able to tell what the slope is and the y-intercept. And then we could go through the process of graphing from there. Okay, so let's try a couple. So let's graph this one. We're going to start off by solving it for y. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to subtract the 2x from both sides. Then I'm going to divide everything by 4. And I'm going to show that step here. Okay, so I divided them both by negative 4 there. Then I come back and now I simplify. Negative 2 over negative 4 is a positive 1 half x. 12 divided by a negative 4 is a negative 3. 
So my slope would be one half. My y-intercept would be a negative three. So I'm going to start at negative three. Since it is a positive slope, I'm going to go up one, right two, up one, right two. Or remember, we can go down one, left two. Either one, it will get you the same slope. So just like before, a positive slope can go up and right or down and left. Okay, so that's how we graph that. Let's try one more here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve it um, for y. So I'm going to subtract the 3x from both sides. Then I'm going to divide everything by a 5. So that's going to leave me y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 6. So my slope is negative 3 fifths. My y-intercept is 6. So I'm going to start at 6. Since I have a negative 3 fifths, I could go down 3. 1, 2, 3. Right 5. Or remember my other option is up 3. 1, 2, 3. Left 5. And there would be three points. Take those, draw in our line. And that is how we graph in standard and slope intercept form.